Hi guys, welcome back to a new editing tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you how I did this transition from a wedding that I filmed earlier this year, an Indian wedding and yeah, just going to jump straight in I'm going to show you how I did that one. So here in Premiere Pro and I've got the two clips that I want to edit together as a transition and first thing to do is just select them both, right click, replace with After Effects Composition and then yeah, once you're here in uh, After Effects just want to organize a little bit so this one top clip here just rename it to uh, dance floor and the one underneath just rename it to elephant and just actually going to bring the elephant one on top because the idea is that this is going to start to come into the frame gradually on top of this dance floor one here rather than using an opacity to bring it on top I'm going to bring in first the like elephant and then the rest of the frame just for a little bit of a different flavor and hopefully it'll be a bit more seamless looking so yeah the first thing i actually did on the elephant as well is i wanted to keep it like in the middle of the frame and the easiest way to do that is to just go on the first frame go to animation track motion so just come over here to stabilize motion And it's just going to create a tracker point. So we'll just make it a little bit bigger. And then we're just going to select somewhere on the elephant that we know is going to be there pretty much throughout the whole entirety of the clip. So I think that point there is quite good because it's a little bit like high contrast. And then just come here to options. Make sure if confidence is below 95%, then it's going to stop tracking and then we can manually adjust and then click analyze forward so you can see there it's not quite sure so it's just stopped it for us and we just can manually put it back in place and then go forward again so yeah once it's gone through just have a little scrub through and just check that this little white dot is staying in place and it's not do anything anything too weird or random at any point um, because if it does you can just kind of go in here and manually adjust but it should be fine looks okay and then all you need to do is just press apply apply dimensions x and y okay and then what you'll see is as you go forward through it's keeping that sort of point here in the middle which is great but the only thing that it does is to uh, adjust for for that it makes these uh, black edges around around the edge um, so that can you know easily be fixed by like cropping in a little bit um, the best way to do it is probably just to there's a couple of ways you can do it but I think what I'll do is just uh, just pre-comp pre-compose it uh, move all attributes to a new composition press ok put down the transform and then press scale and position keyframes at this first frame if we just go to the first frame and uh, just scale it up a little bit and then just have a check through that might be enough actually just to no. so on the left hand side here it starts to come in so at that furthest point when it comes in if we just make a keyframe to adjust the position and scale a little bit more I think that's pretty much all we needed to do there just a couple of keyframes and as you can see crops in a little bit not that much and I just like this motion a lot more um, as it keeps the elephant in the middle of the frame the nose especially in the middle of the frame I think it just looks a lot better um, yeah so that part's done and now we just need to work on isolating this elephant and there's a few ways you well there's a couple of ways I could do it one would be to use the pen tool and go in and mask out indiv individually frame by frame but I think a better way to do this would be to use the rotoscope tool because the rotoscope tool now in After Effects is really good and it uses the hardware uh, rather than just the, the CPU so that means obviously like it's, it's working a lot faster and it's just generally a lot more accurate these days uh, especially with something like this which has a definite outline so with the elephant selected go up here to Roto brush tool and just double click it and then just going to go in here 
can select the elephant come up here to the left hand side and you've got version 2.0 which is the new version and you want to choose best um, and it's made a good selection already but we can just no I think I'll leave it like that actually the selection is quite good there uh, maybe just here might need to adjust so if you need to um, take out any points you just want to hold down um, option key on the Mac or alt key on the um, on the on the on the PC, and then do your selection here. If you want to make the brush smaller or bigger, just uh, hold down Command or Control, and then drag up and down. So yeah, once that's done, um, you kind of just select the first frame and then just press Spacebar, and it's going to just kind of go through frame by frame itself, and hopefully take a good selection. Yeah, you might just need to go in and uh, individually adjust at certain points. Generally, it's just like very intuitive now. Like it just does so much better job than it used to do before. I rarely used to use it before because it was like actually quite hard work. But now it just became so much more intuitive. It's actually quite enjoyable to use. Okay, so then once you think it looks decent, um, you can come back in here into your composition and as you can see it's been cut out um, but it doesn't look great around the edges obviously um, so there's a few things you can do to kind of make this look better first thing you can do is just reduce the chatter so stick that up to 100% and um, bring the edge in a little bit as well the reducing chatter just means that it's going to kind of reduce that little weird wobbling around where it's not been a perfect uh, as you can see, like you get some little weird things. That's just going to reduce it. Might not get rid of all of it, but because this is quite a quick transition, I mean, you probably won't even notice the edges that much. Another cool little tool is uh, the refi refined soft matte here in the effects. So if you just drag that on, and it'll already do a, little, a good little job of kind of softening up the edge as well. Um, and then if you go to chat reduction and put that on smoother, slower, that's another little extra layer of uh, smoothing the edges out and it's just a lot better from where it was to where you end up um, yeah so once that's done depending on how good your computer is I'd recommend actually just rendering it, this clip out um, separately and working bringing it back into um, After Effects to work with it that way just so you get a bit more of a smoother workflow so, so all we need to do is just turn off the uh, layers that you don't need which is the one underneath um, for add to render queue and then just go down here to output module uh, quick time format options you can choose un uncompressed RGB 8-bit <coughs> and this is a very important step you need to choose uh, RGB plus alpha to make sure that you get the background transparent and then just choose somewhere to save it and click render so once that's done uh, go to file and import that file that you just exported so there yeah, once you found your clip here in the window just drag it down so once you brought in the elephant layer um, rotoscoped you can just go you can just go ahead and rename it elephant rotoscope and this one we can still use it and just call it um, elephant background and in the elephant background we'll just get rid of the row brush and refine edge mat just to make sure that it plays a lot smoother so effectively we've got these two here one's going to be the elephant and the second's going to be the background because we want one to come in after the other then we've got the dance floor we can bring the elephant background on top and bring that in a little bit so we want this to kind of come in a little bit smoother than it is so go down here on the elephant roto um, and just check the opacity go to about here five or six seven frames make another keyframe opacity go back to the first one and bring it to zero percent so that'll bring it in gradually and then when we get to the elephant background we also want that to come in gradually so opacity again let's just make the dance floor clip a little bit bigger 
go to about here which again is about five I think about eight frames there make another opacity keyframe go back to the first one make it zero and that will be everything that you need to do to make that transition work so as you can see dance floor elephant comes in then the background and you have your transition all right guys hope you found that useful and uh, check this video out here to see how i did another transition from this uh, wedding trailer and have a wicked day see you later